We'll get you familiar with Xcode as we learn Swift, but before we do anything else, let's write our first program. More importantly, let's understand all of our first program. So open up Xcode. I'm gonna hold spacebar and open that up. And there are a few ways to write a program in Xcode. You can write a full-fledged app, game, whatever, and you can also just test your code in what's called a playground. This is like the difference between the notebook next to your computer that you just jot little ideas down in. That's kind of like a playground. In a playground, you can just play around with Swift and test out your code in little code snippets. A version of Xcode isn't so important as much as you're just making sure that you're running Swift 2. I'm running 7.1.1 as you can see right here. By the time I finish writing this course, a new version of Xcode may be out and that's okay. All that's important is that you're running Swift 2. Now click get started with a playground and that will get a playground open. You can name it whatever you want. Click next. I already have one with that name so I'm going to click replace and you can make your program do whatever you want. When you first open up the playground, you'll see some code in there already. Notice that the playground is divided into two parts. On the left is your code. On the right is the result of the code that you write. In the playground, you can draw stuff and do all sorts of other things, but the main purpose of the playground is to output some data, some results. The data that we'll output is going to be some words. So highlight everything in the playground and delete it. Write out some code. Let's write our first code here. We're gonna write hi there. Notice that when we write this, it puts the output on the other side. Notice that this code really doesn't do anything and that's okay. It's still valid code. So let's write another line we're gonna write two plus two. So look at the other side, it actually says four. What is the difference between the first example and the second example? The first example is writing some words, the second example has some numbers. Let's do another example. We're gonna write hi plus there. Did you know that you can add strings together with a plus sign? What's the difference between this example with the adding strings together and the first example. Also look at that output. Can we fix it so that it prints out correctly? Right now it says hi there as one single word. If we add a space between there, it now says hi there. This seems to fix it. We can concatenate the strings together, join them together as words with the plus example. Let's print something. We're gonna type hi there with print. So congratulations on writing your first code. What does that result on the right hand side say? It's not that much different from the first example, but the code is way different. So what's the difference between these two things? The difference is that the first one is something. What is it? The second one does something. What does it do? Well, the first one is a string. It actually just is a string. It doesn't do anything. The second one actually outputs a string. What am I talking about? Well, let's find out.